Hey everybody, um, I had this guy ask me right here, he was inquiring about a uh, way to set up ZoneMinder with XBMC, um, and I said, hey, yeah, it does look like there's a plugin right here, and, and he asked if I could implement it, so yeah, let's uh, see if we can implement this real quick. I clicked this link, and I got to this forum that I had recommended to him. This was back in 2015, December. It is now September of 2016, so it does look like the plugin is a little bit older. Um, there may be a new version out there, I don't know, but I just went ahead and grabbed this guy. That took me to this GitHub page. I clicked on Download Zip right here, and that gave me this nice little zip file. I also had to go and uh, download Cody slash XBMC real quick. Um, I took the zip file. The zip file contained this plugin video zone minder master. So I took that and I put it right here into the Cody dash slash add ons location and I restarted zone minder. So that brought me to or restarted zone I restarted Cody slash XBMC. So that brought me to this step right here. So I'm gonna go to video add-ons and I have my new thing here zone minder so I'm sure that we'll have to configure this up uh, let's click on it please configure authentication in the add-on settings okay nice here is uh, the settings let's see server IP name oh gosh let's see view.shroob.net I wonder if that'll be good enough or if it needs that slash ZM. I am running HTTPS. Okay, right here, ZM directory, ZM. CGI directory. I think that, I think we'll have to change that. Um, actually, let's look here. I got ZM Ninja. What was I doing with ZM Ninja? For the CGI directory. Now, I've never really used XBMC or Kodi that frequently. I'm familiar with it um, halfway, but I've never really used it as a media center. I usually just watch YouTube and Netflix and things like that. Don't really have that many of my own um, my own media. And what media I do have, I have up on uh, Plex. All right, so it looks like it wants slash ZM. Let's try that back over here. We'll do ZM slash. Let's try that. I haven't tried any of these settings, so might not work at all. Authentication. Uh, yeah, authenticate. I think my username was Alex and my password is super secret and actually I'm gonna go ahead and kind of block this out just in case just in case it wants to show you my password because you don't need that okay it didn't so let's shoot that back up there okay Okay. Now, let's see what happens when we click it now. Working. Nice. Okay. Let's do front live view. Man, that's pretty cool. Man, I need to mow my grass. Ha. <laughs> uh, now, what do I do? How do I go back? Do I press escape. Yeah, I can just press escape and get back, I think. Okay, add-ons. How about front events? Ooh, definitely thinking a little bit more on that. Man, you can see the wind really blowing back in there. really 
working on that. Let's come back to that one. Nope, can't even come back to that one. Where's my mouse now? Here's my mouse. Yeah, enter value. No, get out of there. Has to stop that. Okay. Montage. I know I have at least one or two cameras out. Montage do anything? I definitely clicked it. Montage not looking like it's doing anything. How about the dog cage? Yep, it loads up fine. How about Jeez, uh, a smaller one. How about back events? Well, it's taking forever, and I'm pretty impatient. Um, yeah, this this would work fine if you uh, use Kodi or XBMC quite regularly. Um, I don't, so I would actually I never even look at the footage that these things capture unless I like notice something is missing or something. Um, I would just use ZM Ninja. I much prefer that. It seems to be a little bit simpler. And I mean, it's like three or five dollars or something like that. But I mean, you can, you know, actually like see your events and whatnot. But actually, I don't even use ZM Ninja. I just use the web page. If I ever need to do anything, like let's see if we can find some footage here. Okay, so this is recorded footage. This was at twelve twenty. It's now twelve thirty nine. I think I can. Scroll something like that. Yeah, okay. I don't really even prefer either of these. Anyway, this is uh, Zone Minder working with Cody slash XBMC. It seems to work okay, especially if you just want to view a particular monitor. Uh, that seems to work just fine. Um, yeah, so hope that helps somebody.